Hey, hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is well and you're having a great week. I have another great song lesson for you today from a band out of York, Pennsylvania, the band Live, the song Lightning Crashes. It's a very easy song to play. Um, it's a killer song, very, very dynamic in the movement and in the arrangement and orchestration. And we're going to show you how we can strip this down for one guitar guitar and kind of capture the essence of the song and the dynamics of the song with just one guitar. It's just going to be seven chord shapes and a couple of different strum patterns and we'll get you playing this song fast and fun, right? A couple quick things. We're going to play it on acoustic and we're going to strip it down for like just one acoustic. If you listen to the song, you know, it starts off with electric guitar and he has like a slow, a phaser effect on that's kind of on a slow kind of phase. And then, you know, uh, after a little bit, the bass guitar enters for the chorus, another guitar enters later, then another guitar. So there's a bunch of different things happening. We'll, we'll just transcribe it all for one guitar. And the other thing is that I'm going to show you how to play it in standard tuning in the key of E. Um, what I think they're doing, it sounds to me on the original recording, they're dropped down to E flat tuning. And they're playing the first chord like an F shape, which is actually ringing out to E because of the tuning. So if you see them play it live or someone play it live and you're like, oh wow, that, that's a different, they might be tuned down to E flat. But since most people, you know, are in standard tuning, I'll just show you everything in standard tuning. And you could play along with the C, with the original recording because this will ring to the same pitch. But just keep in mind that I think, to my ear, it sounds like they're tuned down to E flat uh, tuning on the original recording. Now let me show you all the chords first. Uh, you're gonna need an E major chord. B suspended second, F sharp major, uh, G sharp minor for the interlude, uh, E flat minor seven, um, E major, which is when the interlude two, we'll play a different E major up here, bar chord for the seventh fret, or you could just play that E power chord if you're not up to full bar chords yet in your guitar journey, that's okay. You can still play this song. And F sharp, you could play the full bar chord, or you could just play the power chord. Okay, so there's basically, if you boil it down, two different chord progressions in the song. The intro and the verses and the choruses, they're all the same chord changes. It's just going to be an E to a B sus2 to an F sharp. The difference is between the intro and the verses and the uh, chorus is rhythmically how they play it. And I'll show you a couple different ways to play it that will capture the essence of the song. So you just have those that set of changes, and then there's a set of changes for the interlude, and that's it. It's pretty much on the same song, the uh, same chords, most of the song. Um, what makes the song so awesome is the way that, in my opinion, is the way that live, and they do this a lot if you know their music, is they have like mellow verses, and then that big, huge chorus movements, right? Um, and they do that really well. And, uh, um, it's very powerful when you're doing it. So basically, let me play you the intro and the verses will sound like this and then I'll explain the pattern and everything that I'm doing. Okay, I just played through it two times. Basically, the changes are just E, B sus2, to an F sharp. Same changes, intro, verses, and chorus. Now, I'm doing some a chucking technique, which pretty much is pretty integral to the song. So on the E chord and the B sus2 chord, we'll do the same pattern. Okay, so, and the same thing. Alright, so we're doing some technique here, that rhythmic chucking. So the pattern on the E chord and the B sus2 is the same. It's a down and then a down chuck. So just have your hand while on the E open chord, come off pressure and just come down with the open, your palm of your hand right on the strings. You can just do it with one hand. That's the sound you want. It's a little different technique than with bar chords. And then follow it up with another downstroke. So it's down, down chuck or DC, and then another downstroke.
and then another downstroke followed by a, a down chuck and an up chuck. So slowly you get this. And then by the time you get there, you could just grab, you don't even have to hold that E chord, you could just put your hand to that last down up. Because you're moving to that B sus2 chord anyway. And on the B sus2 chord, same pattern. Now it's much easier to chuck with bar chords because you could do it all with your fret hand. Just, just loosen pressure, right? Loosening pressure gives you that chuck. You could control all the strings because you're barring. With open, you can't because you have some open strings with open chords, that is. So on the B sus2, down, chuck, down another down and a down up chuck. Again, just loosen that pressure. Two of them together sounds like this. Now, the F sharp chord we're on longer, so it's gonna be a little bit more complex. Um, here it is, basically we start it again with a down and a down chuck, and you do that twice, so down And then a down up chuck. So, so far we have this. Okay? And this is gonna repeat through the whole song, so I'll spend a little time with it now because you're gonna be playing this over and over and over again. Once you have the basic structure of this, you can vary it, you know, you could mix it up, you could bring it in louder or softer, like when they play the chorus a little mellow, like at the end, then they bring it in and make that louder. So, once you have the basic skeleton of this, Modify it, different strumming, right? I'm giving you just kind of like an easy jump off point. So on that F sharp, down, down chuck, down chuck. Then that down up chuck, and another down chuck with a down. So far this. And then another down, followed by a down, down chuck up chuck. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't if you break it up into sections like that. And notice the timing. I'm letting the chord ring out sometime, right? You have to, it's kind of kick back. So here's the whole thing slow. And then you change. Here it is one more time a little faster. And you get to the E chord. I'll roll through it a couple times. Okay? So practice that and get that down. But once you have that, that's, that's most of the song right there because that's intro two times, verses four times, first verse, second verse four times, right? Into the chorus. And the chorus is the same changes again. E, B sus2 and F sharp, but he plays it with a little different rhythm, a rhythm that's a little bit easier for you. So let me show you that. And in the chorus, when it's oh now feel it, you know, the bass guitar kicks in, the drums start to kick in a little bit more, and they're starting to build, they're starting to orchestrate, right? Um, it's the same changes, but the rhythm will sound a little bit like this. I'll play it for you. another verse back to the back to the original strum okay so the chorus just again same chords but here's what we're gonna do um, on the E chord down 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 and then a down up chuck and then do the same thing on the B sus2 down 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 up chuck and then on the F sharp what we're going to do is seven down strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a down up chuck. Here's the whole thing slow. And 
it up to speed. Okay, and then later in the song, when they play it slow, uh, uh, lighter or heavier, you know, you could vary that and like maybe kick it into something like. So I was kind of improvising, doing some different strums just to give you some ideas, especially building it up into that interlude, right? And that's what comes after that chorus there. And the interlude chord, you're going to go to that G sharp minor to an E flat minor 7. And um, you're going to do that three times. And then it goes to E major to an F sharp major. And it repeats that whole thing twice. Now, at that point, there's two other guitars that have kicked in there. And they're playing little licks. You know. And they're playing these little licks to fill in on top of the chords. Obviously, we can't do that with one guitar. Um, so, what, what you might want to consider is... Um, I stay on the G-sharp minor chord. And then I do that on the E minor 7th because I can kind of hold the chord, let it ring, and do that little hammer on and pull up and still hear the chord ring so there's not, I don't stop and you hear nothing. Just dead space, right, with one guitar. We don't want that. That would be bad. So we have to fill that up. So what I'm doing on the E minor 7th I'm just uh, fretting the E minor 7th, and then on the B string, I'm hitting, basically, that's the note on the second finger, that's at the 7th fret, and I'm coming down hard with the pinky, hammering on to the 9th fret, and pulling it off to the 7th. So you basically hear this, within the chord. Right? And then I just go up the strings, G string. And D string. So that kind of captures the essence of it. I mean, I could, you could do a slide from the seventh, um, I'm sorry, from the sixth to the eighth fret on the uh, slide to the eighth, slide back, and do a lick like that. That's pretty close to what they're doing on the record. But again, you have to fit that in while that chord is kind of kind of ringing out something like that so you might just want to stay on the chord it'll sound fuller second time one more time E F sharp repeat as you probably know in this lesson you know there's a few bar chords that you need to play and I hope you're not gonna let that intimidate you like as soon as you hear the word bar chord you know click off and go to another song because I can help you with that you know I can make these bar chord changes easy let me send you a free video lesson that's just on bar chord techniques fret hand techniques with bar chords you'll learn essential techniques to get your own especially you're open to bar chords because that's some of the harder beginner changes at first right I'll send you a video that'll really help you with that and um, it'll have all kinds of exercises to really blast your bar chord playing into the stratosphere. And I'll send you an ebook with that that'll have all the chords diagrammed out and more exercises. So it's a great set. So all you do, just click on that link. I'll send you that free video lesson in the ebook from Epic Guitar Instruction. So you have some options in that interlude part. Basically, you're staying on the, the G minor, G sharp minor uh, for uh, a four count to the E minor, E flat minor seventh for a four count. Um, so, I mean, you could just strum them both if you're, if you're, if you're having trouble with that little pull-off there. Um, again, I, 
I think he's sliding on the original recording, but it's hard to do that. See, as soon as you do that, you're going to lose that chord. And since it's one guitar, we're trying to capture the essence of the song and not have, you know, dead space. So if you just want to, like, strum the chords... Second time. Last one. To the E. Downstrokes to the F sharp. Repeat. One more time. E. Back to the chorus. And the chorus, when it goes back, is a little quieter. And then he builds up that chorus because we're at the outro of the song. It just ends with a chorus. And then the last one, you just let the chords ring. And it ends on the F sharp. That's it. That's the whole song. That's all the parts, right? Not a lot of different chord progressions, but it's all about, you know, the feel and the groove, about the dynamics, about the, the mellow verses, the loud choruses, and then at the end, the quiet chorus, then the loud chorus, right? And that's how they tug on the emotions with those cool lyrics too, right? So I um, hope you had fun with that one. Check back here because we're putting out stuff all the time. And hey, you know, it really helps us out. If you wouldn't mind, maybe leave a comment um, in the YouTube description box. Let us know what you're working on or what you want to uh, hear next. Um, if you like the video, click the like button, the thumbs up. That really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel um, because we're coming out with new lessons all the time. And you don't want to miss any. We're having lots of fun here. It's a party here at Epic Guitar Instruction. So be sure and, and, uh, and subscribe. I'm David Taub for Epic Guitar Instruction. Really appreciate your support. Appreciate you uh, checking out our lessons. And oh, oh yeah, don't forget to click on that link too because I want to send you uh, that video on, on bar chord, bar chord techniques and bar chord changing exercises and the ebook. It'll really help your playing. So don't forget to do that. All right. So I hope to see you again soon. Keep putting that guitar in your hands every day. Remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Stay positive. We'll see you next time. Rock on.